How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and some of you may or may not know but Android N Developer Preview was released today by Google and I went ahead and installed it here on well a bunch of my Nexus devices and in today's video what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to install this on pretty much any of your Nexus devices that are supported for the Developer Preview. I went ahead and rewrote some of the firmware to make it really simple with a one click and install this firmware on your Nexus device. So without further ado, let me go show you how to do this. All right, so first things first, we gotta come over to my website here on my computer. And uh, let me just show you what we're dealing with. So this is the developer preview. If you click here, you can go and check out the original firmware from Google. Um, and you can download it yourself, but it doesn't really work with their flash all files. So I rewrote them all and here they are right here and you can download from my site. So for me, I'm going to do the Nexus 6P in the video, but it's the process is exactly the same for all the devices. So this does require that you already have an unlocked bootloader if you want to have this installed. Um, otherwise you just click on your device. It'll bring you right here. You can see this is the device and then right there is the file you're going to need. So you just click on it and go ahead and download the file. It'll start automatically should start downloading here in the corner there you go you can see it right there so we're downloading now because we're already I've already got that one downloaded we're gonna go ahead and go into it so here's the file right here and when you extract it I use 7-zip to extract it you'll be left with this folder so enter the folder and here is all the files you're gonna need to do this very simple and now what I did is mainly rewrote these two files so one of them if you're on, you know, Marshmallow on the Nexus 6P or your any other Nexus devices, you can use the no wipe right here. And if you click that one, it'll install the new Android and developer preview without wiping data off your device. You'll keep all your apps. Or you can use this one and it'll wipe everything and it'll wipe all your data and it'll be a fresh install. So you can use whichever flash all you would prefer. But everything's contained in here and it should just function very simply. So to do this, let's shoot over to my device and show you how this works. All right, guys, so here you go. This is my Nexus 6P, and you can see, I mean, I've already downloaded things. I've, I'm, I'm signed into my Google accounts. You can see I have uh, Gmail and other things opened up, like right here, the App Store. So I, I'm technically signed in on this device. Um, now, it looks very much stock because I haven't really done much else with it besides sign into my Gmail account since the last time I firmware restored it. So what you're going to do is you're going to power off your device. Like I said, this does require bootloader unlock, so... Um, that's going to be a prerequisite if you don't know how to do that. Check some of my other videos on rootjunkie.com. So we're going to hold volume down and power. This is going to boot us into bootloader mode right there. And this is bootloader mode. So if you can check right here, device is unlocked. It should say that right there in your, in your wording. So I'm going to turn mine sideways and I'm going to go ahead and plug in my cable. And you want to make sure that your drivers install if they aren't already installed and uh, get all that set up. Also, if you're having trouble, a good thing to do, and actually I'm going to do it right now, is just do a, a reboot bootloader really quick. Um, normally, for some reason, after I plug it in, it's always good to do that, and it seems to connect to the computer better. So from here, we're just going to click a file, and it's going to be very simple. So back to the computer, we're going to click the no wipe. So flash all no wipe. And we're going to run the file. So what it does is it first um, replaces the bootloader. Then it waits for the device to boot back up. And it flashes the radios. And when the radios are done, it waits again for the device to boot back up. And then it starts flashing boot, recovery, um, cache, system. System is the one that takes probably the longest. So you're going to need to give that one a little bit of time. But it's, it just does it all. And when the script's done, it'll pause and it'll ask you just to review all the steps to make sure there's no errors in the script. You'll be able to just scroll back up and you will have Android and developer preview on your device. System image, I think it does sparsing. So it sparses the system image out and flashes it multiple times. So don't be worried if you see that. Just be patient for it to finish. All right, so we're on our sixth system image flash. Um, and then it should go really quick from here. The last thing that it flashes is vendor. Vendor could take a little bit of time, but shouldn't be too bad. But it flashed system six times because of that sparsing of the system image. And then you can see you can come back over here and just scroll up and see if there's any errors. Most of the things should say okay and give you a, a timing. 
Um, shouldn't be any errors. And then you just hit any key on, on the script and it'll close the window and your device will reboot. So let me go ahead and spin this around. There you go, that is that warning you get when you have an unlocked bootloader. So that's pretty normal. We're done on our computer at this point. That is the script. And like I said, this should work totally fine on any of the Nexus devices that have the developer preview. So we're talking uh, Nexus 5X, Nexus 6, Nexus 6P, the device around right here, Nexus 9 and Nexus Player, along with uh, the Pixel C. Um, but I should have firmware, I think I have firmware for everything already set up with these cool flash files. Um, except for the Pixel, I haven't done anything with that. Because I don't have that device, so Google should send me one and then I could make some firmware. But you can see this thing boots up pretty quick. It is going to optimize the applications with an upgrading. The boot animation hasn't changed since Marshmallow, so that's nothing new. Um, see, preparing a bunch of different things and finishing up a boot. So this will be my Nexus 6P first time here with Android and Developer Preview. I don't have a SIM in this device right now, just on Wi-Fi. So because I didn't wipe data, my Wi-Fi is connected. I don't have to go through my setup wizard. None of that is required, which is awesome. I'm still signed into my Google account. I wonder if my Windows, so my recent did get cleared because I think I wiped cache. But um, everything should be, you know, perfectly normal on this. So let's see. Yep. Yep, just right in. See? We're, we're in it. So my Google account stayed synced, which is awesome. All right, guys, let's take a closer look here at... Android and developer preview. All right, here we go. So I'm kind of excited to see what Google has in store for us today. I know there was a couple things that changed in the setup wizard on previous devices I've set up already. Um, just some little quick little key things about like setting up your emergency contact information um, and some accessibility things on the setup screen, uh, like setting up your language and like hearing impaired stuff, things like that. Nothing really too different has changed on that. But you know what, let's start with the uh, lock screen. So you can see the notifications on here are a little different and you know you can expand those down. What else is on that lock screen? So we'll go back to it. You have your microphone and your camera which you can launch from there which is pretty much the same. But the notifications you're going to see are very different looking here on Android N. So let's just go ahead and open that up. Let's go ahead and pull down these notifications. You have the clear right there. You can see you have some quick access toggles without even bringing everything down like your flashlight, your battery, some different things right there. You can also click this and expand it down. But really that's kind of cool is do you see that transition? It's, it's pretty neat as you uh, bring that down. You also can scroll to the side if you have too many toggles for one page. Uh, you can move over like that. You also got the edit button here which allows you to add other toggles. So I always use my hotspot, so we'll bring that one up there. Um, one of the ones I actually don't use is like the Do Not Disturb. So I mean, why, why put it on there if I don't use it? You do have Data Saver, which is pretty cool. And that allows you to save data on background applications. And then you can see now you've got hotspot and data save over there and your location over here. So that's a little different, a little bit different. Let's see what else we got. So you obviously have your brightness sliders, your you know information there, your clock and whatnot. Your users, you can obviously access from here as well. This isn't really new, but just kind of showing you what's what's in here. Also, while we've got this open, you have your settings key right there. You can actually hold down on that and spin it. It's kind of hard to see it, but it'll actually unlock. There it goes. There it is. It'll unlock this right down here. System tuner or system UI tuner, I should say. And this does have some new things in it. So fun for some, but not for all. <laughs> So what we got in here, this will allow you to turn on and off your different information on top. So like, for example, we don't want to see Wi-Fi, we can turn that off and it's gone from the top. So if you, if you have too many icons up here, you can adjust that and see what is and what isn't. I think like data there. Now I don't have that data little thing saying I don't have a SIM card in. So you got this kind of stuff you can change. You have color and appearance. And this is actually kind of, you have color uh, calibrating your display. So RGB. You can go ahead and adjust all those to your liking and hit apply and, and adjust that, which is really awesome. We also have night mode, which you can turn on. And you can do different theming and different stuff with this. So see, you have like automatic. It'll do some different theming for you. I don't know if I really like it, but, you know, it's interesting that you can do it. Yeah, look at it. That's kind of funky, isn't it? Turn off night mode. I like just standard, I think. But um, there's different stuff you can adjust here too as well, just so it'll automatically do it for you. 
Uh, do not disturb. You can do some different things here. Um, volume button, shortcut, show volume controls, different things here for, so you want your do not disturb to show up right there or not. You can turn it off and now it won't be there. So just some little things you can tweak. Then you have other, which is kind of very interesting. So you have this enable split screen swipe gesture. So that's kind of neat and I'll show you what that does. And what basically what it does is when you swipe up from your recent, you instantly go into split screen and you can see other running applications and then do your split screen. And then you can launch it down, you can expand it and you can hit it again and it'll kind of get rid of it. You can expand it back down. So it just is an easy way to swipe up from there to launch split screen on your device. And so whatever, it's cool, interesting things. So show full importance settings. Yeah, so there's just different things you can do. The other thing is, you see this little like three bars right here? This is really nice, so this is new. So this can do all of your settings very quickly. So if you're in, kind of dug a couple steps in, instead of going back, 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 you can come right up here, and now you want to go right to display, and boom, you can go right to display. Now, something I noticed in display, display size. I don't remember seeing this, maybe it was there before, I'm really not sure, but kind of cool. So you can see here how the fonts and everything's looking. Here, look. We can actually bump it up. You can bump it even larger. And now you've really blown up everything on your display. Um, and then you can go, you can even go even smaller if you want. Get everything real small. So it's kind of what your preference is, especially if you're an older person. You can now bump up your display every, the way everything looks very simply right here with this. So this is kind of neat. Now, I don't know if, like I said, if that's really new with Android N, but it's just a setting that I noticed when I was playing with it. The other thing you can see here since we're in settings is you have some different suggestions. They tell you you should probably set up a lock screen with your fingerprint or change your wallpaper, personalize your stuff. Um, the other thing that's really neat is you'll see this on all these icons. It gives you information about the icon. So it tells you what Wi-Fi you're connected to. Is your Bluetooth disabled? how much data usage you've used. It, it, it tells you right here, adaptive brightness is on, 40 apps installed. I love that without digging in and looking at it, it tells you information about your device, free space, battery, memory. I mean, there I'm the user. I mean, I love it. So that's really, really cool. All right, so besides that, we have developer options and we can kind of look through these as well. Let's see what we got here. So debugging, OEM unlock, it's interesting. OEM Unlock does, is even totally grayed out on here. It doesn't even let you flick it on or off. USB debugging is turned on. Picture color mode using, oh, there you go. So you can turn that on and off right there. If you want to use that to adjust the RGB. Um, other things that are interesting in here, I guess, would probably be your animation scaling speed. You can adjust that down to get it really fast to so make your whole phone feel quite a bit faster. Uh, what else is in here? Uh, the rest of that looks pretty standard from what I've seen from developer options. Um, other than that, we can come right in here and we should be able to see Android N right there. You can see your build number, but let's tap on Android N. And there is the Easter egg. And, of course, if you tap on and hold that one down, let's see here if I can do it. There we go. You will get the uh, Android Flappy Bird version with the uh, marshmallows. I'm sure we'll get a new Easter egg here with... Android N, but since it's a developer preview, that's as much as they give you is the just the N. So pretty cool. Very, very nice. Now, I guess we want to look at just how else this operating system works. Here's your app drawer. It's standard, same as Marshmallow from what I can see. You can search your apps. you got your most recent along the top. Um, nothing really new there. This is basically still the Google Now launcher for the most part. I mean, you have your wallpapers. The only new one I saw is the one that's on my screen. So that's all right. Widgets are set up exactly the same too. Google Now Launcher hasn't really adjusted. Settings here for Google settings, and you can do that as well. And then obviously, you know, Google Now there on the side. Again, recents here. Swipe up, and you can launch that. Uh, well, it's not going to let me do it while I'm in here. Let's see if I can do it this way. So swipe up, and you can launch that. Let's open up another application really quickly, like cal Calculator. Oh, that's pretty cool. So while I was in there, it let you do that. Hmm. Interesting. What else do we got here? Uh, camera. We'll allow that one. And then we can just shut them down. So once we swipe left, swipe right. Got it. 
There we go. Ooh, that's funny when it's small like that. Camera looks weird. Anyway, and you can just close them back out. <laughs> it's funky. It's like jumping. But there is going to be probably some bugs because it is a developer preview. That's just not unusual. Um, but yeah, overall, I like it. I know you can expand your notifications um, as you get some in. If I had some text messages, whoa, check it out. Android N developer preview bug. <laughs> Uh, anyway, like I said, you're going to get that. There's going to be some developments coming out on it. Um, so I know we'll we'll have some new previews to play with, and I'm sure they'll pick up and clean up some of those little things they're having uh, on the devices. But, uh, yeah, overall, pretty nice, pretty nice. So really quick, guys, let's check out Android N on a tablet like my Nexus 9. So here we are on the Nexus 9. I already got this installed, too. So here you can see some of the notifications and... Uh, you know, kind of get a feel for those a little bit, how they're going to look. You can reply right from here. What are you getting with your pre-order? Uh, Sam's asking me about my S7. He just got his, I think, in the mail just the other day. So, pretty cool. Standard same stuff right there. Now, I think what I'd like to do... I'll see, this is weird. So, you have some bugs here. <laughs> Check out that bug. Aptroid doesn't work. <laughs> When it's sideways on here, that's funny. All right, let's flip it around and see if it works this way. Yeah, it does. So there's a little bug for you. How about that? Um, it's a developer preview, though, so you can't expect it to be perfect. But uh, let's go ahead and go in here and see what else we got running. So we have settings running in here. And you can... S Did I turn on? I don't remember if I turned that on. Oh, there we go. Check that out. And that's pretty cool. So you got your split screen. You can shrink it or expand it. Not bad, not bad. Or you can click it down. Let's just try going home and see. Oh, look at that. So it's on the side over here. That's kind of weird. Hit it again. Pops right back up. Interesting. It's kind of neat. I like that on the side there where you can then just bring up your, your split screen very easily. And you can kind of tell it's always there. Um, yeah kind of neat and I think if you hold down on it kind of turn it off again get rid of it on the side so yeah that's not bad I think the rest of this I mean the settings are very much the same as the uh, Nexus 6P so yeah system tuner you guys seen all this stuff um, about again Easter egg you know it's it's all the same stuff so but uh, the split screen is very neat on here I like it I like it a little better I like how it kind of holds that device off to the side Let's see if it'll let me do it. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's got some bugs in it. Definitely got some bugs. There it goes. <laughs> so, anyway, like I said, you may want to stay... If, if, if these kind of bugs are going to bother you, you're going to want to stay away from the developer preview, uh, maybe till at least you get one or two more releases for the preview, and they update some of this stuff and fix some of these little uh, interface bugs, I guess you could say. And kind of clean that up but if you don't really use like some of the stuff that's bugging out well who cares you know it's kind of up to you but if you want to install them definitely you know shoot over get that firmware I've got the little script that just does it really something for you there in bootloader mode and uh, that'll be it so I hope you guys have enjoyed the video here on some of the new features or just how it looks at this point with Android and developer preview and uh, definitely update your device with that firmware um, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one Root Junkie, out.